Hey, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, welcome to my channel. So we're gonna state some facts before we get started. It's about three of them. So number one, I don't have a microphone on. Um, my microphone broke, so I don't have one right now. I ordered one and it should actually be here tomorrow, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out and done. Um, number two is obviously, it's a new background, so we moved, and I'll get into some of that. Um, and then number three, I was playing around in some new makeup, and I don't know if this is too dark for me or not, so if it looks crazy, I was playing around. So, you know, forgive me please. I don't even know how long it's been since I've posted because I know it's been a long time. I also know that I said that I was gonna be consistent and then all that kind of went When we started moving and when we like got the final news kind of that we were moving, things started happening so fast. I had so many inquiries for my job. I'm a photographer if you don't know. So I had so many inquiries. I had so many shoots that I was doing. It was just, it was a lot that was happening. Plus we're packing up, we're moving, we're getting everything together and it is a lot. If you have never moved states, it is a lot. It's simple, but it's also just a lot at the same time. I can't really explain it because it's just like moving, but then you have to worry about your movers and if your stuff is gonna be okay when you get there which it was not for us. Um, I'm not gonna harp on that too much because we still don't know what happened, but basically when we left, all of our stuff was fine upon arrival to Alabama, cause that's when we moved to Alabama from Ohio. Um, our stuff was not okay. A lot of stuff was broken. A lot of stuff was damaged. It was, it was a lot. So that, it, it was just a lot, it was a lot. But we've been in here for a month now and it's been really exciting. I thought that I was gonna have the house done within, you know, like three days. I was like, I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna give myself three days to get things together. No ma'am, no sir. That's just mm, mm And people were telling me like, give yourself grace. And I was like, I got this. No, give yourself grace, give yourself grace. because. I would say it probably took us about like a good three weeks and we still have probably about like three or four boxes, but we're also waiting on things. Like we're waiting for a console table. We're waiting to get dining room chairs. So it's still like, we just got our bar stools not too long ago, like maybe two weeks ago. So it's still stuff coming in that's gonna help us get the house together. But for the most part, we are in here pretty well. My daughter is loving school. She loves learning. She learns super fast. It's crazy to see her go from not being in school to now being able to read words. Like, the time is going so fast. And the more that she's learning, it's just showing me like she is truly growing up and she's not a, a little kid anymore. Like she's not like a baby baby anymore. And even my son, he turned one, which is insane as well because it's like he's not a baby anymore. So it's, whew, it's been a lot emotionally just with the move, physically with the move. <laughs> it's just been a lot, but we are extremely happy here. It is super peaceful. It's really not a lot to worry about. Like I feel like I had a lot more worries in Cincinnati and I won't like get too specific, but I just have my own concerns here. I don't really have, now I do have, I do have some different concerns because we are in the deep South. But, you know, I don't have as many concerns as I had in Cincinnati, so that's where like my peace of mind comes from. The one thing I will say is the location that we lived in in Cincinnati, we had everything around us. So we lived in a township that's called Anderson and the mall wasn't that far from us. Uh, restaurants weren't that far from us. Target was about like a good seven minutes away. 
Kroger was any way that we went out of our area, there was a Kroger. We were gonna pass a Kroger and, and we would pass a Starbucks. We would pass a Starbucks no matter which way we were going. So it was just so convenient. And the Starbucks were like maybe three minutes away too each way. So it was just, it was magical. We were spoiled here. That's just not the case. Like stuff is, you have to drive to get there and the miles from like a city mile to a country mile, I, I understand the phrase like, man, I had to watch, walk a country mile. Cause the miles, even though they might be the same distance, it just seems like it's so much longer. Like if I look up somewhere on the map and it says something is 10 minutes away in the city, 10 minutes is nothing. Like you drive and then you're there. Here, it feels like 15, 20 minutes. And I can't even, I think it's just because it's like open fields and a lot of stuff looks very similar. So like you feel like you're just driving down this road and you're driving to nothing and then it'll open up and you might see houses and, and buildings and stuff and then it'll go back to just be an open field. So literally all you're seeing is field and trees, maybe some animals. It's, it's insane. However, the one thing that I do love about here where Cincinnati, it could take you 45, 50 minutes to get from here to there. Like if you're going somewhere that's a little further out, it would take you a good little minute to get there. Here, pretty much everything is about maybe 15 to 20 minutes away. So even though, yes, to get to Target is about 15 minutes or to get to the mall is about 15, 17 minutes, it's still not too bad. Now, would I love it to be the five, seven minutes away again? Ooh, yes. However, the trade-off, the trade-off is pretty good. I can't complain. I really hope that you guys can hear me because I'm used to having a mic and not necessarily needing to talk too loud. And I don't know if it's echoey in here. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, but I did wanna, ooh, these wasps are back. Oh Lord, mm -mm. it warm up for a second and they just wanna come on back. Go on about your business. Oh Lord, distracted easily. As far as the house, we did a lot of house hunting and we had a short amount of time to find a house. However, I absolutely love our house. Not only do I love our house, like we truly, truly enjoy our house. I'm not the house tour type of girl, so whatever you see in the videos that I post is what you're gonna see, but I don't think that you would ever get a house tour. Maybe like if we were to move or something like that, maybe. And I don't even think I'm that big to be like, ooh, house tour. <laughs> but it's just, I don't want anybody to be looking for that because that's just not, that's not my person. However, I absolutely, I, I love our house. I think that it's, just enough room for everybody to feel comfortable. We have an office, so if we need to work, we go right back there and work. We have a nice entry. What I, like I just, I really, I feel like this feels like a home. Like it feels like a comfortable place. It's just, it, it's, it's home. I don't even know why I feel like I'm about to cry. Ooh, can't you? Mm -mm. I think that I've just wanted this for so long and I've known that this is somewhere that we should be in a house, not necessarily Alabama. Although I've always wanted to be in Alabama too, but specifically just having a house and our own space, like we can turn up the music and just dance and clean and sing and have a party and just, it's really, really, really fun. I truly enjoy having a house. So with that being said, I definitely do want to get more into creating, more into tutorials, reviews of everything. Makeup, wraps, clothes maybe, if I find my fashion sense. Um, but hair, of course, even like, you know, just things at home. I did do a post, I believe, about doing vlogs 
And a few people did comment and said that they would love to see vlogs. So I may dabble into that. That I can't promise, but I may dabble into it. Now I do have another idea. And you can tell me, girl, go create another page for that because that's not what we came here for. Um, but I do want to get into talking about photography because that's my the other half of my job. I would love to share things about photography because that is certainly a passion of mine and it actually does take up a lot of my time just because that's my job. So I would love to talk all things gear, editing, best practices, what I used to do, what I like to do, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So if you would like to hear maybe a little bit of that, let me know. If not, completely fine. I understand that's not necessarily why you were coming here, but I would love to do that. So if you are okay with that, please let me know down below. And then if you have any ideas for me, any new products that you've heard of that you kind of want to know how it would work on your hair. Um, I love a good head wrap and we are in head wrap season. So if you want to see some more tutorials, just really anything that you would like to see from me, I would love, love, love the ideas and I would love to know your suggestions. Please leave those down below as well. So I'm excited to officially be back. And yeah, I think, I think that's all. I think that's it. So if there's nothing else, like I said, please leave all ideas, suggestions, anything that you would like to down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Is this dark or is that a glow? I feel like it's dark. Is this super light? I don't know. It's a given. Natural girl. My mom did her thing on these earrings. I love these. I don't know if this looks dark or not. But this wrap is giddy. Okay, girl, come on. What was I talking about? Those birds distracted me. Cause that's a big old eagle. Or is that a hawk? What was I talking about? I don't know, I'm hungry. Woo.